Quick, he's already getting up on the couch. Honey, I need those punches for today. And if you don't like it, <laughs> you can leave. Hey guys, I'm Tegan. I'm Sam. And we are the Rickertons. Welcome back to our channel. We've decided to decorate our old point shoes and of course make it a competition to see who can decorate their point shoes the best. So at the end of the video, you're going to comment if you like Tegan's point shoes better or my point shoes better. We actually got this idea from a TikTok that we did and it went really well, like you guys really liked it. So we thought, why not make a challenge out of it? And if you guys have old point shoes at home, maybe this can inspire you to decorate your very own. Yeah, and you can hang them up on your wall. That would be so cute. <laughs> Unless you do a bad job. Yeah, I probably won't be putting mine up. Hey, that's negativity. No, I'm just saying because it just wouldn't go with the aesthetic of my room. Oh, so it's not pink then. You don't know that. Mm. <laughs> I know exactly what colour you're doing. You're doing red. And you're doing mauve. We'll see. Plus, we both have to make a TikTok and whoever's TikTok goes most viral obviously wins the TikTok part of this challenge. Stay tuned for all that. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already, and give it a big thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to click the grey bell next to the subscribe button to be notified every time we post a video. Plus follow us on Instagram and TikTok because we post on there every, every day. day. Let's go to Spotlight! Spotlight! The colour that I've decided to go with is lilac because I'm just loving everything lilac at the moment. So I searched up lilac point shoes into Pinterest and they were all pretty amazing. So I got a little bit of inspiration from like each of the designs that I saw. And yeah, that's basically it. Hopefully it's good. It's good. It's good. Hopefully it's as good as Sam's idea. She's probably gonna have something really, really extravagant. Yo, yo, what's up everyone? I'm going to, of course, paint my point shoes red. When I was younger, I always like dreamed of having point shoes that were red and sparkly. Like how cool would that be? And now I get the opportunity to do it. So I'm gonna do it. And I've got some really cool ideas for my TikTok. So yeah, wish me luck. Don't know what I'm doing really. So guys, I've actually got a little helper. Oh, you're gonna help me. Don't fall. I thought you were gonna fall, you little silly boy. No, you're not telling me over being on your bed. Nah. How come you get help and I don't? All right guys, I'm gonna show you what I got from the shop. I got some fabric glue. The first thing I'm gonna do is actually paint my point shoes first with lilac, this trusty color. I got this really pretty glittered ribbon, which is actually wired. I couldn't believe it when I found this. I was like, this is perfect, like already glittered. So I found this chunky lilac glitter. I guess you could say this is like my centerpiece. So mine are just gonna be glitter galore. I'm excited to see how it's all gonna look at the end. Look how ratchet they look. They're very plain, old and Pretty ratchet looking. I think I wore them outside for a photo shoot. Your point shoes are so delicate, they just rip. I feel like starting is always the hardest part. You just have no idea what you're doing. Step one is painting these bad boys. I'm putting bits and pieces like plastic so that it's easier to paint. Wow, look at that. Beautiful color. That is such a pretty color lilac. It's a work of art already. Do I look like a professional? This dries quite quick, which is really good. So the paint's going on really, really nicely and I'm really liking the color. Look at that! Okay, I've painted one shoe and I've literally got paint everywhere. A little bit messy on the ribbons, but I'm pretty sure I'm getting rid of them, hopefully, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, there we go. On to the next one while that one dries a bit more. I reckon this one will be quicker though because I'm more confident. I feel like when you first start painting, you're all careful and you're like taking your time. And then by the second half of the shoe, you're like... This one, I'm just going to be like... Step two is to use this trusty glitter glue. Hopefully it works. And then straight away, I'm going to put this even thicker glue over the top so it just sparkles glow because you can never have enough sparkle. After finishing those point shoes I've decided to move to these ones. So basically you can tell like they've been worn which is fine but the elastic has been pulled so tight that they kind of look a bit you know wrinkly. This suits more of the look that I'm going for. Hope that makes sense. I'm actually cutting off these ribbons. Hopefully you know I don't decide to use these in the end because I think Oh my gosh, I just thought of the scene from Toy Story 2 where the guy comes in to like fix Woody up and it's just so satisfying when he paints over. It's really sad though, when he paints over Andy. That's exactly what I felt like when I was just painting the topa. So we're all 
having a break. Guys, I feel like this is the side of Charlie you never get to see because every time we warn him in the video, he's so excited. <laughs> he's crazy. Now so here he is, actually sleepy and calm. Sometimes you just need a break, you know? But now we're back. Now I feel more ready than ever to get this done. Bye bye. That's better. I know I have some space before they were like all up in my grill. Top tip. I'm sure you guys all know this trick. Whenever you're glittering, you put down a big piece of paper. But before you do that, you fold it in half. So then you don't waste all that excess glitter. So then you can be like, do, 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 back into the glitter thing. This glitter container actually reminds me of a video we did ages ago. Just glitter went everywhere. Yeah! If you haven't seen that, check it out. So this is the safer option, clearly. Don't do this option, you might lose a lot of glitter. <gasps> okay, I just got some on the couch. Probably should have covered that up. Yeah! Woo! Oh, oh. Whoa, everything's happening. Oh, so satisfying. Alright, bring out the big one. Yum! Woo! That looks good. I'm actually going to continue to paint on the inside of the shoe and then glitter the sole of the shoe. I wonder how teeth is going. I've literally spent like an hour just deciding on what color glitter I want to use for the sole. I guess the color mauve, just because she has a mauve point shoe on her keys, like a little key ring, so I was like, maybe she'll do mauve. And she's very much into mauve lately, so. I'm going to sparsely put diamantes all over the shoe, just like that. How funny if we both guessed it. You're doing red. And you're doing mauve. All right, that's one point shoe done. So I'm using my tweezers. Just like that. Very fiddly, but quite therapeutic. This is also therapeutic if you have a lot of patience. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. So I finished putting the Diamantes on one shoe. So happy with that so far. I mean, I can't believe the glitter's actually staying on. I'm going to add the centerpiece now using a hot glue gun. Now it's time to put that beautiful ribbon on and basically I'm done. I'll just sit here while my ma does it. Cause I can't sew. Well, I could sew if I really tried, but mum's really good at it. So she's basically volunteered. Haven't you mum? Yeah. It takes a while to heat up. I guess that's what I get for $11. Okay, so my centerpiece actually came like this. Like, this is how you're meant to kind of use it. But it comes apart, and I prefer to use just half of it because it looks like a nice little crown. Another step closer to being complete. I'm gonna make the bow, which is gonna sit on the top of the shoe. I can't believe I actually found this. I thought I was gonna have to paint my old ribbon and then glitter them as well, but this is just so much easier. I can't believe they had exactly what I wanted. I can't believe they had them. Did you learn to sew at school? I did actually, grade three. Wow, see, I wish we learned. That would've been cool. So I'm just wrapping it around my finger and because it's wired, it should stay there like a curling iron. Ready to watch this guy? Sort of. All right, so the ribbons are on and they look insane. Like, they look so good. So yeah, now I just have to make that TikTok. There we go. I think that looks really cute. So we'll finally come together. I'm about to film my TikTok. Yes, you came to visit. Charlie. <laughs> Whoa, final step. Thought I'd never say that. I'm not going to show you the final step because I want it to be a surprise even for you guys when I reveal the set. my TikTok legit like three hours later, not even kidding. I can't wait to see what Tegan's done because I can tell it's gonna be really creative. She took longer to do the point shoes and I took longer to do the TikTok. So I feel like her point shoes are gonna be better than mine. Let's get to the reveal. So Sam's gonna show me what she's been working on first. Come on in. Do you want me to shut my eyes? I can see painting things, but anyway. Fine. <laughs> okay, ready? <laughs> okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. 
but it looks so good. I had to redo them after my TikTok because all the glitter light came off, so I redid yeah. them just for you. You decorated your so that you could actually wear them. Yes. Nice. No wonder you were quick. And look, I didn't even have to glitter the things because it came like that. That's how the ribbon came. How oh. cool is that? That's sick. Thank you so much. I'm excited to see your TikTok and your point shoes. Bring them out. Bring them out. Come in. Oh my gosh. You like? <laughs> I'm shocked. They're so cool. Like you would pay someone to do that. You could start your own business. Paint looks so nice. So now it's up to you guys to comment down below who you think did a better job. Sam or Tegan? Choose me because I'm gonna lose my dress. <laughs> Choose me! Oh wait, I haven't commented on your costume to match! The shoes were just blinding me. Oh my gosh, yeah, so cool. Well, now we have to post the TikTok to see who will go most viral with their decorated point shoe TikTok. You'll probably win the TikTok. No, because I bet you pick like a trendy song. No, not really. Okay, good. <laughs> Confidence is key, folks. It's officially been 24 hours since we posted our TikToks. So now it's time to see who got the most views in 24 hours. My TikTok got 296,000 views and 74,000 hearts. And mine got 634,000 views. 155,000 likes. So Sam I think we've got a viral video on our hands. Yeah, Sam's went way more viral than mine. No, actually, to be honest, both of these went very well. Woo! I won the TikTok challenge part, but I, I think we can all agree Tegan won the decorating part. It's up to you guys to decide who won the point you decorating challenge. This week's shout outs go to Simply Misso and Tilia Bather. Thank you so much for commenting on last week's video. If you'd like to be shouted out on next week's video, all you have to do is comment on this week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed it. Remember, we post every week. So we'll see you guys next week. See ya! Tune in next week. We're teaching Charlie how to swim. Bye!